I am proposing a research that would deliver in three to six months a low level specification for a project that would uh, that could replace OneDrive, Google Drive, uh, or iCloud uh, storage uh, syncing. And the output would be a low level proposal for roughly another 150,000 ADA to actually develop the solution as a port of already existing product from Ethereum with set of improvements, which would make it uh, better. And over time, we would differentiate more and more from the from the competitor that currently runs on Ethereum. Okay, understood. All right, so the key is you're delivering the research that enables these ideas that you've presented. All right, I think that was a good answer. Hopefully that clarified information for people in the chat. And I'm going to turn it over to the gauntlet guys. Okay. What are your questions I, there? Yeah, I have a question for Mark. So what what's the viability what's what's the interest for decentralized cloud uh, for a decentralized cloud platform because when you look at platforms like aws or microsoft azure i mean you can argue in a, in in essence that they're kind of decentralized i mean they're owned by a company but servers are all over the yeah. world and companies so that's the that's the difference between uh centralized decentralized if you look at the bottom of my slide centralized decentralized and distributed so they are centralized, they, they are distributed but uh, and, and centralized. This alternative is both distributed and decentralized. And the incentive there is that it's actually cheaper. Uh, uh, AVS, Google, and so on, they have margins of around 40%. So you can split those, 20, those 40%, 20% the, the, the node operators will make as revenue, as, as profit. And uh, the twenty percent can be discount over over the uh, current Google Clouds, uh, One Drives, and so on. If you don't fit within the three tier that they provide, and my idea for the free tier would be that some stakeholder operators may actually offer a free tier to their uh, delegates. So if you would be a delegate. Uh, of a certain stake to a certain stake pool who would also participate in this project. You may give them like five gigabytes of, you know, uh, D drive uh, for free as part of the delegation and they could buy f buy from you or from a decentralized marketplace more over time if they would need it, so need, need it to. Okay. I, I still feel like this product is extremely niche because first of all, people would have to be interested in blockchain technology and then interested in decentralized cloud platforms. You, you mentioned in your proposal that the market cap for, I mean, for cloud backup is around $10 billion per year for the industry. Yes, that's correct. So, I mean, realistically speaking for, for this kind of use case, I mean, if we look at traditional companies, I mean, there are certain companies that are still using like Windows 95 as an operating system. How realistic is it to port traditional companies onto decentralized cloud computing platforms? They, or... they, would, they wouldn't even know they are being running on, that they are running on decentralized platform. From the, from the end user perspective, it's, he, doesn't know, he doesn't know the difference. The only difference is that the IP address is different and okay. he doesn't remember the AVS IP address. So okay. it's a different URL, different icon, different app, but but uh, it's totally transparent to the end user. Who you need to convince are the IT companies and the IT consultants. And those you convince through, we can deliver 20% savings uh, annually to your client on backups, for instance. Okay. Yeah, but so if you're speaking with a company and you're trying to migrate them onto your platform, I mean, you showed three pictures of different server setups and the first picture is a rock pie if no, you're running a company that or you this have is what it, this is this is what you show to the stake pool operators this this hardware is for the stake pool operators yes yeah, so this i mean as a as the service but as a company if you're using that service and you know that your your data is being basically run on a rock pie or people with rock pies are processing your transactions or processing your data is it does that make a company more tentative to e even explore that solution and stay with the traditional provider like aws or microsoft azure they don't care because that their workload wouldn't even run on that you, you can you can you can combine it with identity solution and you can have different uh, 
uh, tiers uh, of, of equipment for different kind of a workload. So this would be something that on the, the rock pie, that's something that uh, somebody who doesn't really want to make any money uh, being part of this ecosystem, but is an SPO and wants to add this benefit of, uh, of uh, free, free Google Drive to his delegates, he would buy something like that or, or, or he already has it. And uh, it would fit all the data from, from his uh, 100, 200 uh, delegates. Then if you would want it to actually become, uh, become an, uh, 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 a part of that larger commercial e ecosystem, you would have to go with the pro SPO level uh, devices or medium, medium C cloud or enterprise SPO, uh, SPO nodes. And those, those are devices that we've been buying, uh, that I've been installing for HSBC, Barclays, uh, and many other corporations. And it still would be 20% would be, uh, cheaper to the customer to provide a service from this on the distributed decentralized network from a commercial data center if it would be run by multiple, multiple entities on a competitive okay. marketplace.